the 2025 Honda Civic hatchback. We have some new updates to talk about. So first, let's get started with the highlights. So for this latest model year, all of the new Civics come with updated exterior styling. And with these hatchbacks, we have two new powertrains, including a two motor hybrid system. And Honda claims that about 40% of Civic sales will be hybrids and i can certainly see why and for this latest model year and for the 2025 hatchbacks we have three different trim levels and it starts with the sport with the two liter naturally aspirated four cylinder then we have the sport hybrid and the sport touring hybrid at the top and this is great because the sport models they tend to look really good so i'm glad there's no boring base model lx type of vehicle i'm glad that they're starting it off with the Sport and that two liter inline four cylinder engine is gonna produce 150 horsepower and 133 pounds feet of torque. And it's mated to a CVT transmission. So yeah, the base setup is pretty abysmal. With destination, it's gonna start at $28,545 and the naturally aspirated four cylinder will get 30 in the city, 38 out on the highway. Now the hybrid is gonna be a big step up in power. It also has the two liter four cylinder engine, but with two electric motors for a total system output of 200 horsepower and 232 pounds feet of torque, which Honda says is the most powerful non-Type R Civic ever. And you will be getting 50 MPG in the city, 45 mpg out on the highway with this hybrid the sport hybrid is going to set you back thirty one thousand forty five dollars with destination the top of the line sport touring hybrid is going to be thirty four thousand forty five dollars so three grand more than the regular sport hybrid and is that difference worth it well sure i would rather get the sport hybrid over the regular naturally aspirated four cylinder but i'll talk more about the touring in a moment honda does claim that the hybrids offer quicker acceleration than the outgoing previous 1.5 liter turbo four cylinder engine and they have tuned the hybrid to feel like it has real physical gears all forms of the civic hatchback are going to be front wheel drive only and here's where we're going to talk about the differences between the hybrid and the non-hybrid and some other unique features so honda claims that the civic hybrid models have been optimized with unique spring and damper tuning and a specifically developed tire as well and honda says that the hybrids will have the lowest nvh levels in the Civic lineup. Why is that? Well, that's because they have a robust noise reduction package with the hybrids. So both the Sport Hybrid and the Sport Touring Hybrid are gonna come with active noise control. But if you go with the top of the line Sport Touring, you will also get wheel resonators to help reduce tire noise. And this is something that you notice with a lot of Honda products, the top of the line models tend to have more NVH reduction measures being taken. So the higher up in trim level you go, you just get a better driving experience and a more robust feeling product than if you stick with the base Honda vehicles. And I especially noticed this with the CRV that I tested, a top of the line touring hybrid. CRV genuinely feels like a luxury car almost. So if you're gonna ask if the hybrid is worth it and if the additional three grand for the sport touring, if that's worth it, well, Honda definitely does things differentiate every trim level, but compared to the non-hybrid, the additional electric motors, it's definitely adding more to the curb weight. So the non-hybrid is gonna weigh 2,976 pounds. The hybrids will weigh a little over 3,200 pounds. And the weight distribution gets slightly worse for the hybrids. It goes from 60-40 weight distribution to 62% weight distribution in the front and 38% in the rear for the hybrids. So that could sort of jack up the handling a bit. Will most people care? Probably not. And Honda is smart enough to tune and calibrate these things to help mitigate any issues with the handling. But I just thought I would bring that to your attention. Clearly just for the power alone, everyone is going to want the hybrids. All of these Civic hatchbacks come with a McPherson strut front suspension and a multi-link rear suspension. All of these vehicles can utilize regular gas and all models come with the same 12.4 gallon fuel tank. So the range on the hybrid should be genuinely really excellent. On the inside, for whatever reason, 
The hybrids lose about two inches of headroom in the front. No idea what's going on there, but that's just what Honda has on their official spec sheet. But all of these hatchback Civics are gonna come with dark exterior trim and black 18 inch alloy wheels. The sport hybrid will come standard with a sunroof and heated front seats along with dual zone climate. But when you step up to that top of the line touring, you do get the Google built-in infotainment with the various Google apps and you do get a larger nine inch infotainment screen with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto when you step up to that top of the line touring. The other two models come with a seven inch infotainment screen with wired CarPlay and Android Auto. And another feature that's bespoke to the top of the line touring is the 12 speaker Bose audio system. You have to get the fully loaded hatchback Civic to get the good audio system. So if you're gonna ask if that additional three grand is worth it, well, I mean, you're getting more refinement updates with the noise reducing wheels. You're getting the larger infotainment with the wireless car plays and the Android autos. You have the top of the line 12 speaker Bose audio system with the touring and a bunch of other little features. So yeah, Honda is not like these other car manufacturers they really want you to step up all the way to the top. But personally, I still wouldn't do it. I would save the three grand because these are economy cars at the end of the day. They're not lavish luxury cars, so saving money, that should be the priority. I would still stick with a regular sport hybrid, in my opinion. And for 2025, all the hybrid hatchbacks are now going to come with an available gray interior color and all Civic models now come standard with front USB-C ports. They are also giving us Honda Sensing as standard across the board for all of these Civics. And these are basically all of your safety tech features and you now get the useful safety tech as standard like blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert. Well done there. And these Civics, they are an IIHS top safety pick. So you can be rest assured that you can put your family in this vehicle and you're rolling around in one of the safest compact cars. And that's really everything you need to know regarding the 2025 Honda Civic hatchback. Let me know if you're in the market to buy this vehicle. It's currently on sale right now. If you found value with this content, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you again for watching. Take care and goodbye.